Welcome back to Better Man by Zach, where I want you to be your best version. Six things to kiss goodbye to live a more inspired, free, and happier experience. I want to live a heck yes life. I want to have a heck yes experience. And I want to be around people that feel the same way. And I think you do too. And that might be the very reason why you're tuning into the channel. So I want to thank you because I know your time is valuable. So let's get right into it. First thing is worrying. I'm no longer worrying about things that aren't occurring. I used to have so much anxiety in my lifestyle that I would take a prescription, an anxiety prescription before work. And I recently discovered I'm no longer taking that prescription. And it's mostly due to all the inner work. So it's a really great place to be because I was becoming a little dependent on that medication and I'd rather, I'd rather go inside myself and find the answers because there's just so many. So first step in potentially becoming less worried would be to become present. So if you want to stop what you're doing, look around the room and see what's in your environment. I'm seeing a little poodle with a cute little shirt that wants my attention. I'm also seeing a a glass of water with daisies on it and I'm gonna be drinking some so just getting in touch with the things around you will help stop worrying you can also place your tongue at the roof of your mouth and, and that'll also stop the worrying um, it's been proven I, I'm not sure the science behind it but if you're ever in a situation when your mind just won't stop running please try that exercise. And also you can journal. So if, if you don't have like a therapist to talk to, please get in your journal about the things that you might be worrying about because your journal can solve a lot of your problems and, and it's actually you doing the work through the journal. So please give yourself more credit. You're fully capable. And I just wanted to remind you. Poverty thinking, I may shop at the Dollar Tree for shaving cream and toothpaste, but that doesn't necessarily mean I don't have a million dollar mindset. So when I'm making those purchases, I, I value them. I, I've run out of toothpaste and I was desperate. I was looking for the little pack from the dentist and of course I couldn't find it. So, I mean, there's been times when I've went you know, 12 hours without brushing my teeth. So I value it. So when I'm buying those purchases, I'm blessing it. I'm putting my debit card in that machine. I'm giving cash and I'm saying a prayer because I need those items and it's just a full circle. So I know everything I'm spending, it's going to come back to me in 11 fold. It may come back different ways as far as happiness and experiences, but you know, if we can trans transmute that energy into taxes too, because I know it's tax season coming up and people don't like paying their tax bill, myself included. I have to pay it next month. But I'm just thinking about all the people that can have an improved experience because I am paying that bill and they count on me. So I'm, th I'm thinking rich. Number three, thinking you're alone. You're never alone. You've had your guardian angel since your first breath and your last breath. You also have spirit guides and people around you supporting you. I mean, you may feel completely alone. I mean, I don't, I'm never alone because he won't, he won't let me like even do the video, but we'll, we'll just let him play with his phone. So if you don't have anyone in your life that is there for you with the way you want them to be, then become that for yourself because once you become it for yourself, you're going to start attracting people that have the similar characteristics. And of course, I'm always here for you. So feel free to check out my channel, my TikTok, my Instagram, and Twitter because I want to be there for you when you're in need. Distractions. Disengage with people and things that don't support your mis mission. Today's day and age with all the social media, you can be easily distracted by your mission, from your mission through through those type of um, outlets. And I really hope 
my channel is to help you get back on track with your mission because I want you to live out your dream and I'm here to help you get refocused. So some examples that could be, you know, not supportive to, you know, getting your dreams, like distractions could be like excess of drugs, alcohol, going to the club. I always wanted to know what it would feel like to say I don't smoke weed on YouTube. And it feels good because I'm, I feel like I'm focused. I have a mission and I'm not distracted. I'm clear. I'm thinking pretty clearly right now and it feels pretty good. Unhappiness. Move towards the thing that make you happy. So I've written on a little note card, like an index card, all of my favorite things because there's been a point in my life where I don't even know what made me happy. So if you can list all the things that make you happy as a reminder, because sometimes we don't even know what to do. We don't want to do anything. But if we can look at our little index card and remember what makes us happy, we need to, we need to really acknowledge those things and do it because you weren't born to just work, you know, 12 hour days and then just sleep the remainder of the time and then eat in the middle. So make sure to make time for, for fun. Last one's judgment of self and others. I was the queen and king of judging myself and others. Now I've dropped the judgment to myself because I used to be so self-conscious. I'd have to say it'd be pretty hard to be really self-conscious to be on this platform because there could be a lot of you out there of you judging me. But I now just view everyone with loving eyes because everyone has a quality and a gift and a message to give me. And I'm starting to listen a lot closer and I'm creating some really good ideas. And I wouldn't have had those ideas if I didn't give those people, you know, if I didn't just immediately just disqualify them. So Everyone that comes into my existence is qualified to present their experience. If I want to take it, I will. If I don't, I won't. But I'm starting to listen a little bit more and I'm learning a lot. So, and I'm hoping you're learning a little bit here too. Because I used to be a substitute teacher. I was a substitute teacher at three different times in my life and the children, they never listened, especially the middle schoolers. I mean, they were cute, but they were really bad. And I hope you listen here. So tonight's homework is to get in your journal and list out the qualities that you wanna say goodbye to so you can have a more inspired, free, and happier existence. Maybe some of the qualities weren't listed here. You're gonna be the best judge to identify what those could be in your lifestyle that you wanna reduce or fully remove, kill off, cancel that identity and create a new one. So please remember and don't forget, like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the notification bell. We love you, later.